taking a ride out to Bedfordshire today well I'm passing through Bedfordshire I'll be going a bit further um, <clears throat> but uh, just checking I haven't got my bike in that frame then <laughs> uh, for me you know the Second World War um, there's lots of remnants of the Second World War here in England of course still to this day but uh, none of the places really uh, capture the essence of uh, those days for me like old RAF airfields and this one near Clapham, a little village near Bedford, in Bedfordshire, is um, what used to be RAF Twin Twinwood. Um, there's still quite a lot left of it, actually. Uh, we can't get in it. See, you can probably see behind me the sign there, Twinwood's Business Park nowadays. But there's still quite a lot of the original buildings here. Um, and as massive as it is, during the war, this was uh, an RAF training camp, uh, training airfield. Hello, I'm being accosted by a security man. I'll be gone in a minute. Yeah, dis dispatch rider. I'm talking to a friend. He doesn't like me taking a video. <laughs> it's, uh, Security bloke, I think we'll ignore him. Um, yeah, so this was a, an RAF training camp uh, uh, for pilots during the Second World War. Uh, but it was important for uh, some other reasons, because this was uh, the airfield where all the um, entertainers would fly in. You've probably seen all those old movies, black and white film clips and things of uh, entertainers during the war. Uh, used to uh, entertain the troops and stuff, so forth. And they used to fly into here, um, RF Twinwoods, uh, because this, um, being close to Bedford, uh, which is where they all stayed, um, was also the home, not the airfield, but Bedford, was the home of the BBC. They had um, secret film units there during the Second World War. That's where the BBC was based. And all of the entertainers flew in and out of Twinwoods here. Um, uh, including, uh, for me... <laughs> Uh, the most interesting, probably, was um, Glenn Miller and Glenn Miller Orchestra. Um, uh, this was also the place, uh, they used this airfield a lot, Glenn Miller flew in and out of here all the time. Um, and this was the place where, uh, 27th of August 1944, the Glenn Miller Orchestra played their only outdoor RAF um, concert. Um, you know, you can stand in here, you can almost hear the reverberations in the air of the of that big band absolutely fantastic um, later on that same year in 1944 10th of December uh, Glenn Miller left here in a Norseman aircraft flew from right outside the control tower flew off and was never seen again this is where he left and went missing uh, you know took that final flight nobody really knows what happened to him there's been all kinds of speculation there's been documentaries made and all sorts I think the latest um, ideas about about that is that um, his aircraft was flying low over the channel because he was heading for France, um, and uh, some uh, some bomber aircraft that were flying above them jettisoned bombs that they hadn't used, and one of them hit his Norseman aircraft, and that's what they think. Uh, that's the latest thoughts on the subject, anyway. But um, it's fabulous to come back here. You know, it's uh, I don't know. It's um, double-edged sword that it's a business park nowadays really I mean it's still in existence because it's a business park so that's good <clears throat> and of course they keep the, the upkeep of the buildings are, you know, they're okay. some of them this one here looks like it's been taken to pieces um, but another thing if you want to come and visit here um, if you carry on down into the village just down the road here the village of Clapham um, there's an, um, a little lane that heads up to the other side of the airfield and there's a Glenn Miller Museum there um, 
closed at the moment, uh, but I've read that they're hoping to be open again uh, in August, and they hold all kinds of events, lots of music events, lots of bands on, big bands, all sorts of things. So uh, I want to come back and catch one or two of those and uh, visit the museum. It should be pretty good. But for now, we've got to uh, be content with standing outside the business park and being told off by the security guard. <laughs> Anyhow. I managed to make the video without him accosting me too much. And um, I hope, like me, you're a Glenn Miller fan. You found that interesting. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. All the best. Bye-bye. Side of the ready and gone. And all I want from you is to be by your side. And all I need from you is your little gold mine. Yeah, your little gold mine. Bedrooms and bras, I'll be your insider for sharing the art. And all I want from you is to be by your side. And all I need from you is your little gold mine. If we sell the world, give me a quitter to the girl. If I ride his fire sign out, in my crisp pajamas, hear them shout. Gold mine is mine, in time, gold mine is mine. The wealthiest loser, diamond rings on the floor, ending up in the custard, trying to get out the door. And all I want from you is to be by your side. And all I need from you is your little gold mine. Sell the world from the equator to the coast. I ride his bars, I am out in my crisp pajamas, hear them shout. Gold mine is mine, and time gold mine is mine.